The character I emphasize with the most is Hannah and Mary. The reason is because I am the friend who listens. But there is times where you have to learn how to multitask in certain situations. No, I don't think Mary's response was fair because she did the same thing as being petty. But in the situation, you have to communicate with your friend. But then again, a breakup is tough on people. I'm unsure what to think about Hannah, but she should have been straightforward to a friend due to her having a deadline. I think it depends on the situation because if they are the doctor, they have the right. Or if it's the lady's first time delivering, having tips would help. Just depends on the woman who's pregnant. I feel who had the most power is the pregnant lady more than the person who isn't pregnant. And the reason is because some pregnant ladies' moods are different. In this case, I think I am biased based on personal experience and research. I think a time I felt like Dr. Leonardo said was when I am sad and I start to cry when I'm hurt. And the reason is because I hate showing emotions. And honestly, I find myself shocked is when people try to hug me while crying. And this leads to physical discomfort because some people just don't know how to be supportive of someone who is crying. So I just end up laughing. The tools I use based on Dr. Leonardo is talking, is taking a moment for myself. And I normally go on walks alone just because that is the best time. I have some time to think about myself, but I also distract myself. Like I said, I don't really like to think about it. One thing I think I could try to do is slow down and speak softly when something difficult happens to me. If when something is difficult happens to me, I just really don't like to show emotions. Like, there is times where my heart is about to burst and I started crying. But how I deal with this is distracting myself. I don't like putting a lot of energy into it, but I am going to be honest. There is some times where crying does make me heal. The listening exercise. I have done it with my brother, Mia, who is my close friend. And then Kai, who is my recent friend. I would say yes, I do have my own parallel language with them, but it's very different. And the reason is because I have a different relationship slash connection with them. Something that surprised me is the way I act and talk around, talk with them and how comfortable I am with them. Something I know other people get distracted is my brother can't multitask and me and Kai get distracted for any little thing like. A thing I know that frustrates me, well I'm unsure just because it takes a lot for me to get frustrated, but based on the checklist that we have, with my brother, it's always slight leaning forward, arms open, smile and laughter in response to funny comments, front in re responses to upset constants, and enough eye contact to make me feel comfortable and attached to. As for Mia, I would say all the physical self-awareness, it would be all of them. 
in the other hand of Kai, it is mirroring some of my behavior and limp movements, smiling and laughter response to funny comments, proper eyebrow movements in response to my emotions, and enough eye contact to make me feel comfortable and attended to. My primary emotion I'm conveying is low volume, soft tone, neutral rate of speech. And what you are asking of me is a mix of voice quality two and three, which is loud volume, low volume, aggressive tone, nervous tone, fast rate of speech. And I feel like this is important to the statement just because it depends like what you're trying to say because in certain situations you have to talk a certain way just so you could get your point across.